All right, so getting ready to weld this here titanium, we're going to start off with a brand new flap disc, which I marked titanium only. We don't want to pick up any contaminants off of that. We have our two little sample pieces of grade two, what's called CP2, commercially pure titanium. I'm going to swap it out. Now I am wiping my hands clean with an alcohol wipe. You want everything that touches the titanium to be clean because titanium can pick up <laughs> stuff, contaminants, that's the word, contaminants from anywhere. I just wiped a little spot on the table where I'm going to rest it. All right, here we go. Just cleaning off the oxide layer. I don't want to remove any material. You'll notice the sparks are bright white and have little streamers coming off of them. That there is a sure sign of titanium. You want to clean both sides. Get everything clean in that. And then... We'll take a look at the nice shiny pieces. Okay, there they are, all cleaned and ready to go. We're going to weld these in a fixture that has a uh, backing gas so that we're getting argon on both sides. So I clean these with a flap disc that has never touched anything else. And then I prepped them with alcohol. and I'm going to place them in the purge box. Now you notice I have not touched anything with my bare hands. All right, here's a purge box. I made it out of a five inch by five inch by one inch thick piece of aluminum. I drilled a quarter inch hole all the way through it, put an air fitting on it, and it goes to a separate bottle over there. It's got eighth inch holes drilled every about about every eighth of an inch, every other eighth of an inch all the way through, and there's an exhaust hole over here. So one of the keys of welding titanium is good shielding gas coverage. So that's our backside coverage. Now our front side coverage, if you'll bear with me for one moment. is from the video on the making a redneck cup. So this cup has a 1.02 opening and that's going to give plenty of coverage on top. The box is going to give plenty of coverage on the bottom. This is thin uh, CP2 grade titanium. Uh, we're going to start out at about 25 amps and see how that works. Alright, I'm going to turn on the backing gas and you should be able to hear it here. I'm going to turn up real high so you can hear it. We're going to run about 25 CFM. So, there it is. Um, all welded out really nice, and what? You couldn't see it. You want a close up? All right, let's get critical on this bitch. All right, here's the weld. Now, I held a little too long at the beginning, and you can see we got a little purple, but we're perfectly silver through here, and this is what you want in a welded titanium. Again, I held a little too long at the end. 
And if you look, by making sure we clamped it, we have very minimal distortion. I didn't penetrate all the way through, but we have no ugly colors in the heat affected zone. So with the exception of these two bits, I would call that a successful titanium weld. Feel free to say whatever you want about it in the comments. Remember, I'm a student. I haven't been doing this for 30 years. I think that's pretty good. All right, here's a better look at my purge block. Again, I said it's a five by five inch square, one inch thick aluminum. Now in the channel here, it's got a 45 degree bevel. And the clamping plates also have a 45 degree bevel. So you got plenty of room in here to get your gas flow. This is just a barbed air fitting that's been threaded into there. Old piece of hose with a coupler on it so you can just plug your uh, regular hose in. Now on the back side you can see the nuts are recessed inside there and they're epoxied in there real good with uh, JB Weld. And if you want more information about that feel free to ask me. I'll be glad to help you make your own. Uh, this is not my idea. I saw it somewhere. I know Mr. Tig uses something similar to this, but I saw a homemade one somewhere on YouTube one time, and I said, hey, I can make that. So um, when I cut the block, I used a flap disc on it. Then I used 100, 300, and 500 grit sandpaper to polish it out. All the edges are broken, so there's no pokey bits. And that is about the end of that story. Thanks for watching Adventures in Welding. Thanks for playing along. Thanks for your comments, subscribes, likes, everything. And I hope I see you again right here in the Little Shop of Horrors.